now. Give me a just quick sec uh, to just put up an image or, or something because I don't know what the hell is going on at this point and it's it's really frustrating me because jeez I have I have barely ever had this much trouble with with the emulation I, I don't know what happened uh honestly so I'm just gonna put up a image as we uh talk about uh final case again so uh let me that again Okay, so are you guys able to hear me? Oh man, I failed. You're you're okay. alive. <laughs> <laughs> Jason claimed he did this to you for some reason. Jeez, I I don't know what the hell is going on with my computer tonight. Like, <laughs> it, it it I barely used it today, so it shouldn't be having this much trouble <laughs> trying to run. And now I'm gonna have to. And now I'm gonna have to. Uh, uh, probably vitalize. I'll just make this into a separate thing of just like the post plots. Uh. You know, mm -hmm. uh, so the great Ace Attorney title screen music. <laughs> Let me just get that up, uh, real quick. I, I, it's gotta be the PC because it was lagging hard even after we, you know, stopped it. But um, okay, so yeah, I mean, I, in, in general, I've had this really weird feeling throughout DTS because like I, I was really hooked by its first case, and then I just don't think it's gotten me the same way as normal Ace Terrain has in the other case. Like, the reason I say that just I'm getting a lot of just Thrall vibes, uh, like, this final case is gonna have to do a lot for me. I mean, it is 10 hours long yeah, over so, that, actually. You know, it's gonna take over that, it's gonna take over 10 hours, trust yeah, me. Yeah, so, like, that could either be we could either have something like, uh, Justice for All Final Case on me, or Redditable Destiny's of Spirit of Justice Final Case on me, it's... It doesn't get stupid like those cases do. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not a dumb it's, case. It's, it's not, not a dumb case. It doesn't get stupid like Dual Destiny's Spirit of Justice, honestly. Uh, so, that's where I'm kind of standing right now. I've, I, I like the characters and stuff, but I just haven't been able to get into it as much as I feel like you guys want me to, uh, hmm. right now, unfortunately. We're just... That's just how I'm feeling at this point. Uh. Well, how I always judge DGS is because, um, unlike all the other Ace Attorney games, where you can actually judge like um, a game by its cases, it, it it is at least for me really. Oh, hard. I, I, I know what you're getting at, Jason. Yeah, it's really hard to judge, like uh, this. Like, it's really hard to judge to judge uh, for DGS on a case by case basis because because um, each case actually um advances the story and not and 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 our hodos and our hodos character so 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 like for me part of the enjoyment of like of dgs is not only um not only enjoying the cases but also seeing but also see how now hodo grows as a as that only uh, like as as an as an attorney throughout each case like uh because at the end of case three, Naruhodo had to question him, um, question himself as to whether or not he can uh, he could trust in his client. In case four, it's where... him building himself back up after that moment, basically, because this is a it's smaller scale. Like, okay, let me try doing this case and to see how I can do it. If I actually, I'm capable of doing this it's kind in of the what... first place. It's kind of the way of using a, a, a briefer case to help Naruhodo back up because he he pretty much got beaten down last. And game. also, this case also pretty much develops every what's it called overarching plot thing. You 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 know what the Reaper's curse is now. You know who Iris Watson is. You know who uh, Inspector Gregson is because it's still introducing stuff. Uh -huh. Because in the end, this game is not a singular story I, as well. I get that, but my two points are like. Again, I enjoy the stuff that I feel like is outside of the case right now. Because I haven't yeah. felt like the cases themselves have been that interesting for me. And I think <laughs> in Ace Attorney, I think that is a problem uh, for me. If I'm hmm. not interested in the cases, then what am I doing? Like, if my most interesting parts are outside of the court, I do feel like that's a problem. And for developing Naruhoda's character, I do like him. But you want to know what also was able to have interesting cases and develop character? Ace Attorney 1. 
Uh, I think for that one, Ace 21, Ace, what's it called? When you look at Phoenix's character, it's not the same. I'm sorry, I disagree with that in terms of Phoenix yeah, growth. Uh, yeah, compared I, to Naruto's growth, it is very. I think Naruto gets a lot more than Phoenix does in game one, specifically. Well, like, uh, yeah, like, like across, like, if, if we're talking about like how Phoenix grows in character from game one to game, like, uh, to game three, then, 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 yeah, I do agree with you, but like, but well, I'm, I'm, I'm not sorry. saying, I'm not saying that. I'm not. Uh, I, I think you guys are maybe misinterpreting what I'm saying. Of just that, I feel like too much of the game right now is focused on the character growth and not enough on the cases. Uh, because I do like, again, I, I like the case. I like the characters, and I like the growth that we're seeing from them. But... I didn't hear Chase, I heard cake. I but... like the cake. <laughs> but <laughs> for for me, it uh, this is maybe where my the background as a reviewer is maybe coming in. If I don't think the individual episodes are that strong for the case-wise, it becomes harder and harder for me to... Because to, I... I'm sorry. For the individual cases, I get that the game structure, but as somebody who reviews on a daily basis, I'm looking at the game as a whole kind of deal, and I'm sorry, I think the other games are doing a better job uh, in terms of holding my interest and making each case individually more interesting, despite the fact that they are all connected. I... <laughs> And I think it also doesn't help the fact that we just know more than you do. Yeah, the, <laughs> probably help, helping on that, but th that's just, this is my opinion as I'm playing the game live. You're going to get my raw opinion after. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will say, like, I think like the biggest thing I want to talk about is, uh, um, I do think that <laughs> my first time going through case four, I particularly want to, uh, because one thing I definitely noticed going going through like this case again is that um it's interesting when they decided to put the emotion it's interesting when they decided to put the emotional hook because uh because of the way that the case is outlined um they realized that there's no way you would get like a uh satisfying emotional hook out of uh, out uh the garadibs because at the end of the day this is just a series of accidents so they decided but they it's still just like a it was just like an it was since that studies like a decent why, so they decided to give that why to the uh, uh, to the O'Malley's, which I do th which I do think that was a good decision on their part, because going through going through the case for the first time, I remember when I got to them, I didn't really like them that I felt sorry for Pat, but I didn't like his wife. But then what? when we got, to, but then the closer we got to the why, when we found out why Pat did it, that. I that kind of flipped on his head, and I went from not liking them to just say, just "Give them a break!" <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, <laughs> like, come on! Like, I went to like, I went, to, I, I, like, I went to like really, really like them. I feel and like I, I wanted I, to like them more than I eventually did, unfortunately. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, and. <laughs> I also had this thing when it, uh, I put Mrs. Garadam on my on my tier list for villains. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> because he realized the things of incidents. Just go. Listen, Pat over here. He just he's very busy. He's really tired. He just wanted to have a good day. It was worth to take the time to celebrate his anniversary with um um um. Which is why he just did it one day, and here you are having on tasty fit. Because you fake, and this is a very hard fake. Like oh. your husband, your husband was was seeing another woman, so your little tissue fit started a fire, and you threw objects out the window, and ended up stabbing a person by accident and sending them to the hospital. <laughs> and then you try to deny it in court. And look at that. Hashtag right. blade jump. <laughs> I will, uh, Paris, I won't give you that. I think this uh, courtroom section is the is the most filler courtroom section in the game. I, yeah. I think this. I, I won't give you that one. Because also, when you look at the investigation, there's only like one segment where you're investigating. Everything else is about the actual story itself. far more interesting than the actual case for yeah. me on I it. I will give you that. I like the investigation more for this case, but at the same time, it's also mostly focused on, what's it called? The stories, actually stuff that will actually remain throughout constant, throughout the whole story, which I just feel like I get more out of. Because like this stuff, 
a lot of stuff that's told to you in the investigation is stuff that's gonna stick through all throughout at this point. Yeah. Both for both this and the next game, okay, actually. Okay. This, this is this is the weird dilemma that I'm in with DGS because I really like the stuff outside of Cornell, like the character development and stuff like that. It's just the actual cases feel the the actual cases feel like an afterthought to me, which is like really weird in Ace Attorney. So. <laughs> I mean, I think for case like... for case three, I feel like that will change because of case five, considering how this case goes. And let's for case five is not a, a done I case. I was interested um, in case in case three of where it was going, and then it was cut abruptly short. So I'm interested to see where it goes. That's on. the point. Yeah, that's it, the point for point. case three. It, it came, yeah, yeah, that is the point. It's supposed to leave you with the, it's supposed to leave you hot. with like unresolved. Because that that's. It's kind of the weird thing, cause like it's, very, it's not. That's not how. That's never how an Ace Attorney case ends. <laughs> yeah, like I, and I understood why they went for that because of like how it's gonna go in Case Five. Uh, but I felt like Case One was just a really solid case all around. It had a good, like, it had good character moments. It had good, like, of you trying to figure out the mystery and such a great aha moment, and still was able to do the bittersweet part because. She wasn't able to be arrested, kind of deal. I would definitely say hmm. case two was the low point of the game for me thus far, uh, unfortunately. And hmm. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, but I just did I, not. I that case was so uninteresting to me. I I feel hmm. like we have differing opinions about that, and that's only because, from my perspective, I'm not that big a fan of the investigation series, and as far as structure. Investigations and case two of DGS are essentially similar, but I had way I was way more invested and interested in what DGS in case two of this game than anything if than anything that if that investigations was doing. And I remember because when, when I thought about that, I had like a hard thing to realize. Wait a minute, how come when DGS does it, I'm way more invested? But when you make a whole side game, like we make a whole two side games about essentially this, it's not as. I mean, a lot of the murders in that game are a lot more arbitrary, honestly, <laughs> as well. I mean, it, it doesn't help that we actually think about the case of the investigators. Well, they're all they're all dumb. They're all they're also dull as fuck. <laughs> like, there's no reason Miles has any connection to anything. <laughs> Okay, like, but I'll, uh, I'll say that investigation is one man for later. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I, I also kind of feel like Miles, uh, Miles, great character, but he's not that great. He does not shine at all. He, like, like, why like, is he in investigations one really? Like, he doesn't matter. Like, he's a great, he's a great character, but I feel like as a main character of a game, he doesn't really. Ah, uh, very much Apollo Justice, I see. <laughs> right, he doesn't really hold it. He doesn't doesn't really hold it. It's better investigations two, but that's a. For the, for the That's for another time. Anyways, for another time. As Stefa said, like, do you have more Ace Tree stand? What's it called? It's also worth knowing that DGS2, what's it called, is basically the second half of this story, I, essentially. Like, like I, 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 I get that. Uh, like, I understand. <laughs> I understand that. But as a reviewer, I'm looking at the game as a whole. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but also it's not even like trust me, it's not even like going from Ace Attorney One to Ace Attorney Two. It's not like that at all. It's even like or like trials and tribulations. Uh, between I guess it's like one of those. It is, I, it is way more like you put them into that. one. There it is. Just and I think that also maybe becomes that evident is, as the game goes on. Maybe that's just how my reviewer like just my my mindset works. Is that I can't. <laughs> I can't separate. I, I understand that it is two parts of a story, but I'm also going to view it as an individual product as well, because that's how they're selling it to you, like, you know? Yeah. I think, like, you mentioned that this is that they, this game is much more focused on the character growth and the character moments, and that's honestly, I think, one of the major reasons why I, I got really hooked with GGS, because I, I enjoy these cast of characters so much. Yeah. Uh, like, like, the main thing, because, like, the, like uh, the main thing that I always, as I get older, I, all, I as I get older, I tend to find that I get way more invested in character stories. Yeah. Bec and, yeah, because cause when a character story is done well, no matter what the topic, if you care about the characters as characters, then you would care about the stuff that they're doing. And because I was at like, cause like I felt that with I I 
I felt that with uh, Phoenix from, uh, from 1831 to 1833, and I, and I also really feel that in this game as well. I think the <laughs> thing that I'm kind of having right now is that I connect the most with Naruhodo uh, so far, because he's definitely yeah. the most developed character right now. Yeah. But even in Ace Attorney 1, I felt like I was more connected to uh, Phoenix, Miles, and Edgeworth. No, uh, Phoenix, Phoenix, Miles, and Maya more than I was connected to the four main characters of this game right now, because... Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 know, no, I, no, 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 I, I, no, actually, no, I'm gonna back up pat on that. I understand why. I, 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 like, I actually understand where you're coming from, and I also fully understand why, because 1820, because 1821, the primary focus on that game is the relationship of Phoenix, uh, of, of Phoenix, Maya, and Edgeworth, where, uh, uh, where, where, whereas in this game, the primary focus of character de of, char of character development uh, fall, uh, uh, falls on Naruhodo because because this is his, because this, this is his story, yeah. and um, and like the prosecution. And There's a very like, different. He is not. He's not supposed to be like an Edgeworth prosecution. Yeah. Or like <laughs> well, he's very I'm, different I'm, than every other. Prosecution. I, I'm not. I'm not saying that that for for Von C. I just say that. Naruhodo's really the only character right now that living wise that I feel like I really connect to. Like I like the other characters, but living. I don't feel as connected to living. them as I did in Easter. I'm, I'm just causing ED to just like go insane living. right now. No, 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 fine. No, no, no. Real talk. I don't. I don't care. Real talk. I don't care what Pat said. I love this game with the way, but like I respect I mean, what he says. It's Ooh. interesting to hear other people's opinions since. No, trust me. I feel like Jason got more riled up when you compared to Justice for All. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, hate, I hate just for all. When he said like just like just for all, I just went. Oh, hang on, wait a minute. <laughs> all right, time to say like just for all sucks. Point one clowns. Point. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just lost in the poll because of just Paul? Just yeah, because nobody's played this game. <laughs> Let's be <laughs> open. All y'all know. Just I mean, to actually hear other people's opinions about DGS. I guess Nobody this might to. also be the fake like. Compared to the stream series that we've done, like comparing of uh, like the last one we did, V3, uh, to yeah. this, I felt like V3 was able to do have its cake and eat it too in the fact that it was able to have really, really good character moments, but also have very interesting cases built around those mo moments, kind of deal. And I'm just not getting. It also does. It also does, It also helps in V3's case that V3 is is uh the ending of dog and Rampa. true yeah but and it's also like the story it tells itself a story that's still kind of contained within itself yeah well, within a single I mean, game to be fair case four i like i like the developments that they have for the overarching urging plot i like certain things like how they use like britain's time period for the things like the gaslights and things like that but it's definitely not a, someone's favorite case compared that's to what, that's, i would just say oh, nobody's yeah. favorite case is case four yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh I get, I'm just saying of my feelings about the game. game I'm, no ju I'm just saying for my before. feelings overall about the the game yeah. more than the game. Also, awesome. because I, th this might be different by the time we're done with Case Five, uh, you know. But I mean, uh, Case Five is massive. I'm definitely interested in what he's doing. I, mean, I think, like, honestly, like for me, <laughs> call it salty, but. I think Asogi should have honestly stayed around for longer, because I am definitely- I felt like he was a way more interesting character than a lot of the other ones that we've met, and he died so early on. <laughs> and I just haven't felt the, like, carrying of the- I, I don't know how to word it, um, but there's just something you that I feel like Ace Attorney uh, 1 did better than, than this. You haven't- like, uh, you have you, you you didn't feel like the passing of you didn't feel like there was a proper pat passing of the torch. I, well, I guess uh, like there was to Narahodo, but I don't feel like that way to Sasato. Uh, kind kind of deal. It's like your quote unquote uh, assistant. Uh, that's all right. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, that's fair. I, I also about that complaint, Pat. This series will make up for that. Trust me. Okay, I've I've hope I've hope. Again, this is just. I will. No, I I know for a fact it will. <laughs> we'll find a way to make up for that. Also, uh, hang on, hang on. I need to call this segment uh, Jason's Sim Sherlock segment because I'm <laughs> oh, gonna see, we got to see Cagro Sherlock. Look at my man! Look at him! He does look, look very good. Look. I, I will give him that. Uh, <laughs> When we're when he we're watching him play through, he's been sipping on Sherlock so hard. <laughs> oh yeah, he was. He was. Like um, and like I, 
I would say probably next on our own. Iris, I think, is the most interesting. Despite how little Iris has been in there, I'm really yeah. interested. She'll get screen we... She's getting a bunch of screen time next yeah. case. Okay, so I hope so. I, I'm also hoping that the next case will actually make me really like Sherlock, because I, I felt very weird about him throughout my time of the game. Uh, you think he's too silly, or I think what's maybe the... just a little, like... I think a little, maybe a little too silly, or just a little bit too assholey. Like, I, I don't know. Wait, honestly, why, that's honestly why I fell in love with Sherlock so quickly. Maybe it's a little, maybe it's a little too much for me with, with the heck. Uh, I, I don't know, something, something is just... I can't quite put my finger on it, but I... Wait, like, honestly, uh, like, honestly, I just, I just, I just vibe with whatever Sherlock is doing, because I see the way he acts, I just go, you know what? I get this, Pain, man. Maybe I... you're right. Maybe maybe it's that I feel like he's too much of a smart ass uh, mm. kind of deal. And I feel like hasn't been able to back it up because we have to keep correcting him all the damn time. Uh... From how I perceive Sherlock's character, he's the kind of person who like always, he knows the points A to point B, but he never knows the in-betweens. That's how basically I've always perceived yeah. this character, which is like shown throughout Naruto that actually presents I think evidence. The big thing, I, want to, I think the big thing for me Sherlock needs to get into a trial. Uh, I think it's the big thing uh, for hmm. him, uh, which I feel like right. is probably gonna happen in Case Five <laughs> at this point because it's the bound of Baskerville. Uh, like I, like I never ever doubted that. Like uh, Sherlock was smart. Yeah, because yeah. there are you know, plenty of moments that show that yeah, Sherlock is smart. But like, but like, because Sherlock He's able to get the truth out in ways that people aren't normally able to, like able yeah. to. People. Yeah, because Sherlock is so abstract. Ab abstracted out there you can also very clearly see that not not a lot of people actually get sherlock and, I, and, and i'm not talking about like uh, as a character i'm talking about a universe as a person because there's only like because i because you the only like few people that actually like i guess for lack of a better term vibe with what sherlock is throwing down <laughs> yeah as sherlock is definitely a character you would probably revisit for one by the end of the game and one after the sequel because yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah i got yeah. definitely uh, like uh, a feeling that after the game my opinion will probably change on him I just, uh, okay. <laughs> what i'm blurring out is just how i feel in the moment right now you know yeah. <laughs> also i think i what's it called well said like he's kind, like he's the closest thing to like a mentor to narhoto at this point but he never gives him a straight answer like he never just tells them all right here's what you believe i he's always just like no here's what i think what do you take from it basically like the, the, the end of it, it's i have liked the moments where it's just him and naruto uh kind of deal where i feel like where he's way more honest with him and not putting up a kind of yeah. facade yeah. kind of deal that's where that's where i like him it's just that's i feel like so few moments like with the time that we've had with hmm. him uh Oh, yeah. so I, I can actually bring this up because I feel like uh, I think like I actually do think that second viewing I think Case Boy does a good job of showing this. Um, we, uh, as as I went through our DGS, I did notice that there is an actual difference between the between between the way that uh, Naohodo, um uh, attorneys in court and the way that Phoenix attorneys in court. Mm -hmm. Because Naruhodo uh, doesn't so, bluff. Yeah, Naruhodo doesn't bluff. Every time he points at like at every every time he arrives at a, a conclusion, is always he always arrives there through the power of logic and reason. Yeah, he I, never I has, haven't noticed that too. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Phoenix never had like uh, and like Phoenix bluffs his way in and out of situations in order to in like in, in order to arrive. At the truth, meanwhile, Naruhodo never Naruto doesn't feel like he's trying to bullshit. It feels like he's always trying to give like yeah. his most honest effort he can. Yeah. Because he is just an everyman still. Like he's like, this is all right, this is uh this is the problem. Alright, here's what I think could solve it. And also Suzano like uh, like um, at this point, like um like I love my, like uh, I love like uh, I love Maya. Maya is still like forever my favorite like uh, assistant in terms of like like as a character. Mm -hmm. But in terms of like actually like helping you in court, Suzano has everybody beat in spades. Yeah, she does so much more than any yeah. other assistant. And also, she's the most different personality wise to like literally every assistant after Maya. Because being honest, after Maya, every other 
a sister was basically Maya but this, Maya yeah. but that, yeah, Maya but a magician, my Maya, Maya but a thief. And even te if also if you can look at Athena's personality, you can also I compare say it to that, Maya. I think Athena did easily. the best job, like post Maya, of like. Yeah. But. That, I give us that is a Susano, uh, you know. But I'll say that she still kind of ends up for a lot. Of, let's be real, a lot of Ace Attorney five and six. She's your assistant. Yeah. Let's be real. She's on your assistant, and also she acts a lot like Maya still. So I think Susano is like the most different personality-wise that we've had so far. She's calm and reserved, but is also willing to be very passionate when she wants to. Like it's, and speaks out in court when she call when she notices something. She's also she also has a. She also has a very different relationship with that I would know how to this this than uh that Phoenix does with Maya. Because like you can totally tell that Naruhoto and Suzano kind of like view each other. They work each other they work off each other. Uh, yeah. more, yeah. more different. Yeah, they're they're way more e they're way more equal in mind in cooperation where whereas uh, Phoenix and Maya Maya's more, more Maya's more morale support a lot of the time, I've noticed. Yeah. And also have other assistants being honest. Again, that's the, again. This is not me dunking on Maya. I love no, Maya. just something. It's a difference I know. And also, like, I'm gonna argue on that uh, <laughs> for me, honestly, because I, I don't know. Like for me, like I do think Sasato helps, but I think for me, I still don't see too much of what she. Like, I think she is good moral support and does help out time to time, but I still feel like it's Nara. I don't see the two on equal ground right now for me. And I think <laughs> the big thing I need to see is there a moment of, like, an equivalent kind of thing of my jump again for the taser uh, kind of moment for me. <laughs> like, I felt like the two at the. I bought the camaraderie. You'll get something. You'll get something. Like, this is just me spit falling from, like, I'm just comparing of, like, what this moment, what, like, at this moment in, like, Ace Attorney 1 compared to this moment in DGS, uh, now. So, like, before the final case of each game. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. you know, kind of deal. I will also point out how Maya, what's it called? What's it called? How Maya and Phoenix start off as a lot different from Suzato and, what's it called, uh, Naruhoto. Because with Maya and Phoenix... It was a case of Maya was just down because her, you know, her sister just died and like, what's it called? Phoenix, like, I got, I gotta help this girl. Like, who clearly can't help herself. For Naruto, it's basically like Naruto's the one that can't help himself, and Suzato's just the one. Like, why'd you kill Sogi? Basically. Yeah. And they two, they super grudgingly like start working together. Basically, and have to basically, they have to actually start growing on each other from the start in a much different way compared to how Phoenix and Maya started off. I, I, I can see that. Yeah. Like, if that's described as auto, she's passionately reserved. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, uh, like, uh, Emma Reiki Suzato has clearly taken, like, the number two spot. Yeah. And also, one thing, I, like, Suzato's clear strength is being able to point out, like, her clear strength is, like, the law, essentially, because she's able to point out all the details within it, because, like, that one time where it's just, like, uh, Banzeek says the closing the argument is outdated nobody uses it anymore but then she's able uh, if it was Susanna wasn't there you probably wouldn't have gone in the closing argument because she points out that hey it was never abolished though was it so we can still do it here's a simple way to say it Susanna has google <laughs> <laughs> i would also like to point out that they that in the for the one month they had to get from 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 the boat to to britain Susanna was the one mentoring naruhoto in law yeah. at least giving him like anything he can and also, even stuff like how she's actually able to actually speak out and like talk to people like the judge as well, and actually give her own input and moments. I really like that a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> Especially when you consider the time period that they're currently in. Yeah. Yeah. You could. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I like that moment where he's just a fanatic. Like you have no right to speak, but he just says, "I'm sorry. I still, I'm, I still need help as an, as a rookie. She, I want her to speak." Yeah. yeah. I love also, that. I, also, I, I do I do feel like this case also lets you see a little bit of, uh, of another side of uh, Van Zeke's. Because I remember saying earlier that Van Zeke still has some funny moments like when he chucks the wine bottle. <laughs> uh, but uh, Van Zeke's response to what, to what uh, Pat did and the reason why he did it does show uh, does, like, uh, does, like, does show a that another like um another side of 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 of, of Van Seeks. Like there is more like there is more to him. Like he's not all just about like about work and how uh the Japanese people suck. Yeah. 
<laughs> but also, like, he's... Oh, no, you can continue. No, that's all I had. Oh, okay. But also, I like how he's not... He's clearly not in it just to win, basically. He's not a prosecutor. He's uh, here just to... Just to win. Like, I mean, he was dead set on getting that guilty verdict in... I, but, uh, what's it called? Case 3, when you see that, like, it kind of makes sense. But also, even when it's stuff like, I want this I want this jury to go on the ground, he's like, okay, I'll make sure she, I'll make sure she gets put on the witness stand. Hmm. I, I, I mean, didn't Edgeworth have basically the same... Yeah, but, like, the thing with Edgeworth is that he was clearly struggling with how he was acting. Because there, it was one of those things, like, that quote-unquote bad guy doing good thing. This is just, like, this is how Vantix just operates always. Mm. So. And there's interesting it, parallels. It's more like you're seeing a different side of him compared to Edgeworth, where it's, like, the thing of, I'm, I'm, I'm quote-unquote on the bad side. What if I do this thing where I basically I, I help the defense and be... Because, I mean, he also does the job of defense attorney in that case as well. <laughs> But he I mean, points out the cards I mean, so blatantly like you're a defense attorney. Like, what do you do? I mean, how do you feel about Van Zink now is totally justified? Because yeah. comparing him to all the other... Because comparing him to all of the other pro prosecutors as a whole, I would say that Van Zink is the middle... Like, um, as a character, is the middle, is the middle of, the, of the world. But as a prosecutor, he's one of the better prosecutors. I think yeah. that's the problem where I'm comparing him way too much to Edgeworth because I feel like Edgeworth was one of the better prosecutors. Years, I'm doing it. He also has like so. How many games does Edward have? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. It, it, I, when I'm talking about that, I'm talking in Nate's Attorney One. All right. You know, yeah. I'm talking I, about him in that. Like when I'm doing the comparison to Ace Attorney One, I am comparing <laughs> it to just that game as a standalone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what's it called? Very well. But also, I will also point out how what's it called? Again, Vantix is in the end the prosecutor for both games. I will point that out. Mm -hmm. Still, but also, he's, uh, what's it called? Also, he put in case three instead of case two, like Edward. Uh, it's kind of, kind of interesting because I, because I think Van Zeke served his role in the plot well, but I don't really have any strong feelings toward Van Zeke. Van Zeke feels yeah. like he's just kind of there to me. Like, look at what you're doing to us, Pat. Your opinions about case four is tearing us apart. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't know what you're talking about. No, this, <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. Yeah, this is fun. This is interesting. This is like the longest we got on like post. Yeah. Yeah. I think just because like that, I'm describing more of my feelings about the game as a whole rather than. Yeah. And it just leads to us also talking about what we love about the game. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, like, and, and, brings both out. <laughs> and especially, I think, just for me, because I hold Ace Attorney 1 in so high regard, it's my second favorite game in the series, uh, you know. <laughs> and with, with, I think that game works so well as a standalone title. Like, one of the best things I think about that game is every case is consistently great from beginning to end, you know, kind of deal. <laughs> I, I, I honestly think so. Uh, like, if you... If you, you want to say I mean... I mean, you solve case two by looking at the back of a receipt. <laughs> uh, yeah, you solve this case by looking in a what in a glass pipe. <laughs> yeah, but then you you have so much more to it, Dave. <laughs> I swear, I swear. It's convenient I'll that one of the jurors is part of related to the yeah. case. Yeah, yeah, juries are juries are full on coincidences, yeah, but on coincidences. Uh, I mean, am I allowed to talk about the jury system? That's not that you want. Yeah, you can talk about it if you want. All right, you uh so. So sorry, it, like uh, so like I'm sorry if I make you like uh, think differently, but what you just brought up is like I like overall I like the jury system. I like the oh yeah oh yeah, oh, yeah I get what you're saying. They're they're a coincidence. They're they're, they're Deus Ex Machina. Yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. Like they are a unfortunate crutch. It's like it's the kind of crutch where I'm looking up the way that it's written, and I can very see that and I can very see that. That 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 he that that he has to do this, otherwise the player will not have a path to go. Will not have a path. They, they to feel go like down. they feel like human evidences. Uh, yeah, in they other are. Games, That's what they just are. Basically, an evidence piece instead yeah. of. You know, yeah, they're people. Like yeah. the the one thing that uh like the jury system to me is just kind of there. Honestly, the one thing that they that I do think is great about them is the closing argument. I, I mean, that's, that's all, all they serve, really. I, I think that's the like that's honestly to me my favorite gameplay change of uh, of the Grey Ace Attorney, you know, oh. compared to the main series, because I think that's a logical evolution of where you know the 
the courtroom stuff would go at that point is comparing two pieces Frank, uh, uh, of person testimony. I also think it's kind of funny considering the time period this game takes place in, and because it's a twenty one takes place uh, historically after this game, it's just really funny to me how like uh, the closing argument, the closing argument kind of get the prosecution to disadvantage, so they had to hard nerf the attorney by taking that away. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, well, that was in the Japanese court. So. Yeah, it was present in the Japanese court. Yeah. Yeah. And Japan of doesn't exist yet. Yeah. Yeah. Japan of Yeah. But it is. Yeah. It is what it is. It's the prequel. This is before Japan and California became one. Also, going back to what you were talking about with Case 2 of Ace Attorney, honestly, I feel like nowadays, Case 2 of the first game has a great emotional hook, but as you talk about as a case, it's not really that interesting uh i've got a great like, like, like a great emotional hook and great emotional payoff but as a case it's kind of eh yeah i mean that honestly like i had more fun solving that case than i did most of the cases in this game i'm, just, hmm. I'm gonna be I mean... honest on that one all right patrick and god let me go get my shotgun <laughs> <laughs> But like, ah, hmm. I, I'm just trying to think the best way of describing of just the, the like. I think the problem is for me. I I think there's more satisfying of coming to the conclusion and way more aha moments of like like that. I think it's I've known most of the solutions beforehand, and of like I more of like the book thing I, I knew too. <laughs> but. Hmm. I, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to, to describe it. I feel like Ace of 31 did a lot better at, like, those big aha moments. Uh, where, like, you're like, oh, shit! Name one. Like, when, like, can you give some examples? Um, I would say of, like, when you're talking to Red White, and he, uh, like, you can finally get him to mess up of, like, the light stand kind of thing, and you can nail him on that, uh kind of de deal, or how in, uh... The Isn't that, like, the one where, like, they tell you what it is? No, 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 this is before then. Uh, this is before, before then? This is before the whole receipt part of uh, that. This is when you're telling them of, like, chasing to the right or the left left uh, kind of deal in that oh, yeet. case, and when he says it's on the other side, you can nail him on that one. Uh... I feel like they did a better job of just making the... Hmm. I I'm trying to put it into words. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this is it's very hard to, to descri describe it, because I guess, in essence, it's not that different, but I just felt like it did it... Maybe because the first game did it first, that there's a better connection I, in that regard. Yeah, I, yeah I, think that's, I think that's what this ultimately is. Because you, cause you played Ace Attorney first. Wow, you played the first game of the franchise first, like you're supposed to. <laughs> uh, you play, it's, you played that game first, so you will always have a more emotional connection to your first time rather than your yeah. seventh time. <laughs> I, I guess, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I, Game Master, I always felt. I mean, if, if this, like. I even just think in like little revelations and stuff like that, there are more better aha moments uh, kind of deal. Because, like, for example, the, the biggest aha moment I've had in this game is the damn tooth. Uh, the tooth thing, yeah. yeah. I mean, that was good. You know, um, <laughs> like, I, I think the individual stuff, like, I felt like individual contradictions were more satisfying to get in Ace Attorney 1 compared to DGS. And I think I felt it the most during uh, Case 2, definitely, was the big hmm. one for me. Hmm. The real saving grace for Case 2 of that game was how it's actually written for me, in terms of what the actual dialogue itself, how these characters react and say specifically. Like, hmm. I get like Jason, how did you feel when you first played that case, actually? Uh, for Ace Attorney 1? Uh, DGS, DGS 1. DGS, uh, Case 2. 
how I how I felt because this would be coming off investigations too. Was uh, I mean beyond the, just the investigation part? Just, just the the actual case itself. Well, I want to. I'm curious. What do you feel about that? But that was kind of hard, just because that's because I never actually played DG. I never actually played DGS like uh, DGS. Uh, 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 I like I just like watched it. Hmm. Well, I'm also talking about the, how it's written as well. How do you feel about the dial or how it's written? As far as like, as far as like uh, story beats for characters and stuff. Hmm. Uh, I think f I. I need to get back to you on that one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of put you on the spot either way, so yeah. it's not really surprising. <laughs> I mean, for me, the idea of the boat was was interesting enough. No, but I think what really got me hooked was when we got to the joint reasoning and just how theatrical it got to like, okay, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm interested. It's a lot, it's, it's a lot more life to standard investigations than what it uh, normally provides. Like, I, I, I felt like the joint in, uh, one, I felt like only really started to get fun for me in this one because of, and maybe part of that is just how absolutely ridiculous it got, <laughs> uh, <laughs> at, at that point. It just, hmm, like, I'm... I don't know, there's just been something in this game that just hasn't been jiving with me as mu much. Which is weird, because I was totally jiving with it in case one. Uh, <laughs> for me, and it just hasn't gotten to that same level again, and I... It, it's frustrating to me as a reviewer, because I'm trying to figure out why, and I can't explain <laughs> it, and that's really frustrating <laughs> me. <laughs> uh, I do remember, if you want, just want to hear Nico B's opinion, I remember what's it called. What's it called? The saving grace for like why he loved all this other stuff was like the characters itself, and also I remember like the reason he just like D uh, DGS case one so much is that it was just because he for his perspective it was like he played so many Ace Attorney games that this one just the uh, case one felt just like another Ace Attorney case to him, which is weird, and also it was I, longer. Which is weird because I honestly think it's the best case one of the entire series. Like yeah, honestly I agree as well. I agree it's the best case. Uh, oh, I, I also I, still also disagree know, with him. Game Master, yeah. that might be it. That might be it, honestly, is that I feel like there's not a big sense of escalation. Maybe that's honestly it. It feels like stuff just, like, it kind of stays moderate the entire time, you know? Uh, okay, I think I'll admit... For, for, the case first... three, for case three, I'll give that a pass just because it's still, we're still not done with that, technically. I, I, I definitely feel this is more slice of life-ish in terms of just, okay, we're just That's seeing how Naruhodo and Suzato is dealing with going through the... I want to say phase. slice of life, because yeah. that implies that things are yeah, just kind of well, standard all the time. I, and, I would argue, and, is it that right. just Dual Destinies at that point? You know? <laughs> like, yeah. Dual, I mean, Destinies, Dual Destinies, Dual Destinies, Dual Destinies had, had right a very slice that. of life kind of feel to but it, like, too. Like, the, way I, I really, like, the way I personally describe it is is um, is an adventure story in an Ace Attorney game. Yeah. yeah, I think it's the opposite of slice of life because literally every case in this game is like has a different foundation on top of it. Like in the case one, it's like you're arrested for murder in the Japanese courts. Case two, you're stuck on a boat on on your way to London that you saw as uh, murder. Case three is your test to actually become an attorney. Case four is where you're actually an attorney, and then by the end of this case, you actually get an office. It's like I kind of. I think I'll go more over the once we start case five because the beginning of that case is what is what really made me really gel gel into the, this game a lot. Because like um, the structure for DGS for 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 DGS one and DGS two, um, and I guess it's always been this way for each attorney is uh, is uh, case one the tutorial case case two is the warm up case, and then case three is part one case four is part two case three is part three. Yeah. Yeah. And and that is um, definitely like uh, the the case here. So uh, so Pat, so like uh, you're because you, you got your part one, you got your part two, you don't have your part three yet. I, I guess so. I just uh, like when I can uh, like you know I know I can't compare it to like trials and tribulations in the later games. You can you can't compare it to trials and tribulations straight but up. But I'm going to compare it to Ace Attorney one because I feel like that's yeah. the strongest comparison that you can make. Me and I, I, I don't... actually speak, uh, speaking about that. Uh, uh, real quick side note to say that um, as far as my schedule goes, uh, I can do it Friday. I can do uh, Friday and Saturday. Awesome. All right, that works. Which uh, like how how many 
like, what does our how many sessions per investigation? Uh, six or seven. Six or seven. Uh, like six or seven for the entire thing. Uh, the entire thing. Okay, I think. so yeah, probably. In it's gonna be our longest one. It's, I think it's over yeah, ten hours. This case. This case will take over ten hours. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah. And DJ's so, it gets gets longer. <laughs> yeah, DJ's two. I think DJ sure should have the longest ace turning game. That means we will probably be done with DGS by the time of the 16th and 17th of October. Then, uh, by that point. Ah, hmm. time for DGS tober. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. Uh, guess I will admit it's not hand holding, but you got it. Do you answer to case five or eight? Well, let's be on your own. I think that's <laughs> what it is. Is that? Maybe there's a little too much hand holding in this game. Maybe. Oh, in this game there is. I'll, I'll, I'll admit to that. Maybe that's what it is. It's that like, I feel like I'm kind of maybe led to the conclusions a little too much. Like, it doesn't feel like um, because I feel like I kind of get a general idea of what happened like pretty fast in each case. Uh, like especially when we got to the whole thing of the window, I was like, oh yeah, she she kneeled down and that. But you know, the knife went in, etc. Like, yeah. I, even though I did say it, I put that connection in my head really early. Oh, yeah, on. I do as well. I, I put the full connection when they said that's how I left it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah, I want to make this is one of the easiest things in the game, straight up. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, ping. <laughs> Am I overthinking things? Well, ping, like, at the same time, this is an ace attorney, and they mm. want you to overthink it. <laughs> yeah, that they do. Considering, especially with the, with the 3DS titles. Like, considering how absolutely bug nut fucking crazy they get, they want you to think really out there at that point. Final, uh, final case of Spirit of Justice. Spirit of Justice, yeah. Uh, which is probably, honestly, the, this is probably the most over the top case they can yeah. like, like, are we talking, are we talking DL, DLC or the case 5 part 2? Uh, uh, I'm talking uh, case by part two, considering when well, you consider what you're actually doing. In that case, yeah. Also, yeah. like I know I tweeted this once about like uh, spirit of justice. And also, the, uh, and also the design of the of the, per <coughs> the person you had to take down. You just go. Yeah. This is, this is game. This is fucking dumb. This is the final boss. <laughs> also, no. Also, like, I, I don't know if this is a me thing. I I said I tweeted this out once. Like spirit of justice final murder. I can never actually just summarize what actually happened. Yeah. I swear. Well, that, that, I can never say that, what happened. That's like... me for both. Uh, well, G gamer master, what, what's the hate on the Spirit of Justice final case? It's a fine enough case on its own. No like, DLC. Uh, he DLC. said DLC. No, I, I, that's what I'm talking about. Like the the DLC. Yeah. It's, 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 not a, it's not that bad of a case. It's all right. It's it's, a, it's okay. The, it's the, the only problem the only problem I really have with it is just that's way too easy to tell who the murderer is in that. I also like it is clearly just the biggest try to nostalgia grab. Oh yeah, it, absolutely. But... It, it goes really hard on that, <laughs> and for some that's like I don't want this. <laughs> uh... God, I've, I've had to restart the music uh, until he died. Um, like, How long have we been doing go? I, we, we've been going for a while. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with I, this. I like yeah. the discussion. Uh, I think for me. We've been going for an hour, but I also need to go to bed. <laughs> but, uh, I, like, for me with my with the 3DS games, I I really. I still find myself really enjoy, enjoying that. The only parts that I think they really, really falter on are each of their final cases. Like,. Uh, they, they, as much as I like, as much as I like playing through them, I think their final cases just are not that, or escalate way too much. Uh, I mean, also for me, concerning those games, there's like a lot of uh, like overarching issues I have with both Ace 25 and Ace 26. I think Ace 26 especially starts. They started really getting, uh, uh, what's it called, a big issues for me. And it's not even stuff like case to case. It's just overarching stuff, which honestly I think DGS as a series like just does so much that, better than like five and six. I think that's where we're gonna disagree on that one for for me because like- No, because like there's issues that are built up if they aren't the game's fault for me, Ace 25. Cause stuff like, let's be real, Phoenix Wright does not need to be in, uh, the playable attorney okay, at well, this point. I think, I think that's a different issue for me. Uh, kind of deal. I'm just talking about it as a game. Uh, you know. I know, but still, but still, what's it called? These games want to tell a story with their protagonists. I feel like the protagonist no longer needs to be Phoenix Wright. Hmm. And, like, it's still I an really, issue in terms... I in really terms of developing that. characters as a protagonist, Phoenix Wright is holding back Ace Turney. <laughs> yeah, I, I really felt that as Spirit of, I really felt that as Spirit of Justice. Yeah, because, like, he does not need to be the main yeah. character. There's but no more I, growth for him. I think that the... the 
the the way of uh, I I see it, because I I will honestly say I think Spirit of Justice currently is my third favorite game in the franchise. Uh, like it's gone down for me. Like for me of that, I think. Uh, besides the, it's really five part two is the big offender of it. But I think the cases are individually really interesting. I think the world of Karine is a real is really interesting because you are so out of your element at that point point in there, and I think especially Case 2 and 3 are, like, two of my favorite cases in the entire franchise, hands down. Uh, like, uh, I, and I, I mean, think the case just, where Tootsie finally develops as a character. Yeah, and mm. I, I think it's, like, when Jason said it, I think they're too, like, it's just the most fun one to play, you know, yeah. kind, kind of deal, like, of the moment-to-moment -moment stuff is really, really fun in that yeah. one. Uh, for me, like, with Spirit of Justice, my, what's it called? It's an issue of, like, when I put everything together, I don't think this works that well, honestly, with Spirit of Justice. Because when you look at it, like, what's it called? Case 2, like, I love- Case 2 is my favorite, but also that's something that it's, like, has the least to do with anything, just like Case 4 of that game. Because technically, the only thing that it connects is the fact that, oh, Apollo and Naida know each other. Do you have a mysterious past something? Uh, I'll tell you later. That's also the same thing for Ace 21, maybe literally that, straight up. <laughs> maybe that's just where of how we- how we, uh, you know, think of Ace Attorney differently, kind of thing. Because yeah. for me, like, no, I, I think I'm a, I'm a more case focused kind of person, maybe a little bit on um, than the overarching lot. Because it kind of it's kind of weird. Because I like I say that, and I realize Trials and Tribulations is my favorite game in the series, and one of my favorite games of all time. And what is that game about? The overarching plot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I feel like just the, the structure of more modern Ace Attorney is much more focused on the case-by-case -case certain bases, and, uh, like, they, they st still sprinkle in parts of the overall plot, and I just find more enjoyment from, from those. If I enjoy the moment-to-moment -moment stuff, generally that means of, like, I'm enjoying the game more as a whole. For uh, me, like, from my perspective, it's, I feel like sometimes it's a lot more stuff that I just won't care about afterwards for me. Like, it's stuff that will stick with me less, if that's just how I view it a lot of the times. Hmm. I tend to, well, two things about, firstly, for me, for Spirit of Justice. One, Apollo, Apollo really should have been the main character in that yep. game. Yeah, he should I, I will hard agree on that, is that... Spirit, but, he I'm gets technically Spirit. two cases. I think Spirit Justice really shows that, okay, we need to do something about these, attor like, these attorney switcheroos, because there's oh, yeah. clearly not working. As well, well it's also that. something, because... Uh, it's pretty, when I be, there's too many fucking characters in that game. I'm sorry, there's <laughs> way too many characters in that, that that's game. That's just kind of more of a... Of uh, like a problem just with Ace Attorney. And, like, I know, but it's that. still it's a problem with Ace Attorney, and it affects Ace Attorney. It's gonna affect a game like Spirit of Justice, which mm. is yeah, still Ace Attorney. And, uh, second issue, um, uh, the moment to moment stuff in Spirit of Justice, I do think are like are are cool and fun, but but overall. Like at like like overall as a narrative and like as a as a narrative and, 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 and as a story, I don't think it holds. I don't think it holds up that great. <laughs> like like uh like um uh, like from moment to moment, like uh like going from moment to moment in case two, uh spread of justice. It's like uh it's like uh it's fantastic. Like uh like like when you find the twins and when you find out the guy who really did it. And like he gets like a whole, and the guy gets like a whole new um, animation along with music, and um, having like one of the more, most um, visually interesting cross examinations of, of I think of Ace Attorney because they had to make an entirely different set in order to pull it off, like like uh, stuff like that. It st st like like uh, like stuff like that is great, but when you look back at how everything connects together, you kind of just go, yeah, that was fun, but. What does it add to yeah. what's go really going on in this game? Also, Jason, you mentioned that. Actually, I remember there's something someone pointed out in a discussion, like about like modern games. You ever think about how many times they do the the trope of just 
of the witness who's the killer just suddenly transforms to like a different person and just becomes like all 100 evil basically that is definitely an issue that i think uh they've done that they've done that a lot oh the modern disney, vill oh, the modern disney villains got it exactly all right you want to do this let's do it pulls out clothes behold i'm a Final Fantasy character, Ace Attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go all the fingernails. Like, I'm ridiculous. But, that yeah, happens I mean, like three times in Dual Destinies. Happens. Okay, the case one of Spirit of Justice, case two of Spirit of Justice. Although that one I'll get more leniency to considering the character. Yeah. Um, Doesn't happen in case called? three. Um, Doesn't happen in case. It happens in case four. It happens in case, in case four. four. And then case. Five. And then it happens in case five. That's four. Uh, four of the killers in that game do that same trope. I will admit that, like. I, I guess it's just more of a, yeah, that can be an annoyance. I don't think it hampers my my feelings of going to the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay and just like, I still feel more satisfied at the end of that. Yeah. I felt more satisfied at the end of Spirit of Justice cases than I have at cases of DGS. There, I said it, okay? You know what? <laughs> I mean, for like me, because like... <laughs> Honestly, real talk, they feel like cart uh, I feel like the villains money stream they're fucking they're cartoon they're Saturday morning cartoon villains. I'm sorry I said it. No, no, <laughs> that's like, real. They, I, they get too I, much I, there. I feel they like you and, you and me are arguing two different Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know that. You know yeah. What, ED, I get that. You, 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 guys, 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 you know what? That's going ED, you were right, Pat, but that would be satisfied. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean on that? Like... I don't know, I just want to pick a Hamlet. <laughs> Hamlet <laughs> joke. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted to do. Uh, yeah. I want to say things, but it's probably better no, no, until the game is finished. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's for stuff. Oh, okay, I can also point this out. I can also point this out. Like how I feel like also Mod Ace Trade does this trope of just like they take elements from Ace Attorney, like what the trilogy, but don't make them any better they just use them as crutches because hmm. like tell me what was the motive of the villain in spirit of justice the final villain what was their motive i, d I don't even like okay exactly like, oh, no. the, I, I i say i don't like the final case of spirit of justice what no but also no I, i'll point out what the motive is they did it because they were jealous that their sister had spiritual powers like they didn't hmm where have i heard that before why would, you, why would you be started on the sister sister show like like, alright, small, small tangent about the sister. Oh. What, was the, what was the point of the sister in the final case of Spirit yeah, of Justice? Yeah. But, 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 like, again, show. again, yeah. like, um, uh, I'll also argue that I think DGS also crutches on the original Ace Attorney a little too much. Oh, uh, trust me, like, oh. I know what you're gonna say about Case 2 of Sogi's death. Nope. I'm sorry. I literally, I know you haven't seen everything, but I can literally just say, nope. I don't even think just on that. Uh, like what else? What else? What like, else? Uh, <laughs> I can just no, I can, no. That's literally one thing for Sogi's death. If you try to say that was just to mimic, what's it called? Uh, my uh, Mia's death at age 21. I know since I've gone through both games, I can literally just say, nah. nah. I <laughs> well of like one, you have. Basically, the same thing happened with case three in this game and the final case in Justice for All. It's very identical to that. Uh, no, that's this is handled really differently, man. <laughs> because like, first off, in that case, wait, Pat, in that what do you mean by that? I tried to understand. I actually, of in I terms of you have a client that is the that is the murderer, but I felt like they put you into more of a lose lose situation in the in. Uh, no, well, Justice for this for game, it wasn't supposed to be that. It was like, let's take this idea of a culprit who does forgery stuff. Why don't we actually let them get away? He and got then, away with it, yeah. But then they die, but then it's just like, all right, so what actually did, happened, so though? We won't know. It. Yeah, he didn't get away with it in the end. But still, it's just like, what actually happened here? Like, it's and like, why? All right, all right, all right. I think... And then, that you th expect... and then in this game, you, you basically have the Edgeworth moment from the Steel Samurai habit. In again with uh, from where with fancy so. yeah. for me that tells a different story compared to Edgeworth because Edgeworth like I said it was just the case of, for for that context it was just like he's becoming like oh maybe I become maybe I'm wrong but here it's just like all right you, you all right I listen to you attorney here's the thing do this about Van Zeke's racism aside he has a 
instead of just being like ha 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 evil prosecutor he, like, he doesn't do it for the win anymore. like literally so many prosecutors yeah. in the series they always do it they they do it for the win basically for the sake of winning van Seeks is not yeah. concerned with winning he's just like also, this is why that client's guilty and also the fact that he has a more legit reason to dislike Naruto because he because from the context of what like he he got a criminal away with murder but I mean, also like here, it's also just like this is the first time you actually have to prove he's actually wrong at this point in the game as well. So like, I think it's a very different context hmm. and situation. All right. All right. So I feel like we're we are approaching a point where uh, where we can just say where we, where we can say this is like all at the end of case four. I Pat, I want to get your opinions at the end. What how you feel yeah, about I, the end of case I, five? I, I think because I guess like my. Going into case, but like what I know about case five, I think case five, as far as as I think case five is one of like uh, it's like uh, a really well written case. Yeah, I think I think, cause I think I, we I, uh, like if anybody else wants to just put in their last things because I do feel like we are kind of yeah approaching there we have. as much. I as think we're at the point where I want to say rebuttals, but we're not at that point of DGS yet where I can make rebuttals. And also, there's a point of we want to we view Ace Twenty in very different ways because I'm at the point where I'm just like I don't really care for Ace Twenty Five and Six, and I probably won't care for Ace Twenty Seven. All right, Real yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, I, I I do think it's just the the different views that we do have of just like this again. Here are the views. You hear the views. I like the story of Ace Attorney. I like the case of Ace Attorney. You want me? <laughs> I think just over time of just like I, uh, I view them more as just episodes rather than overarching game, game uh, like of an overarching story. I think it's just more of how I viewed them over time and now I discuss them with friends. Uh, yeah. Kind of deal. <laughs> For me, like, because like the thing, what's it called? Again, DJS one, DJS two is like they're basically two halves of like once to, uh, i i feel like that's a lot more invented basically in my opinion it's a lot more I engaging for me to like go through this game and just like all right how does everything carry over into the next game and how I, will this I, actually meet the, its conclusion the thing is, i feel like that's going to be more of a for me i think unfortunately like at, from that reviewing background um yeah i i will you know what actually uh, jojo joe it's basically like i think i'm what I'm having the problem is the tools of destruction to a crack in time problem is like the the thing of like yeah crack in time takes every takes all the plot points from that and makes it really great of like and I feel like that will be me when I get to DGS two for DGS you one, know what yeah that's valid like um, like for DGS one while I'm playing it I'm just not that engaged in the moment also you know? I will uh, what's it called I will say it just even for that like it's. But trust me when I say it's different, because like if well, if you play at Kraken Time, that won't recontextualize anything about Tools of Destruction. After going through DGS two, trust me when I say it changes nearly everything about this game. Now Hono's looking at like, look at the box on Now Hono is uh is, is looking at us with his finger. This conversation has gone on too long. <laughs> yeah. you, uh, well, you, well, Game Master, honestly, you. like these cases are about like standard ace attorney length like honestly there yes they are yeah yeah like they're... i mean case one was a lot longer than like yeah like case lot, one's probably first... like the longest one that we the, the, like this say, and, like... like case one and case four are, like the longest cases that we had uh yeah i would say like ace attorney one through six i get to describe it this way ace attorney one through six feels like a feels I feels like a show that you can watch on a week to week basis. DGS is more like a Netflix binge. Hmm. Yeah. If that if, if that makes any sense to anybody else. No, no, I I I get that. I get I, that. I get that. But, I sort of get that. Yeah, but um Yeah, I I, I think we're at the end. Well, like, <laughs> I think we'll be able to discuss this at least hopefully a lot better once we're Done oh, with yeah, we DGS will. We one will. before we get into DGS two, you know. Later. Yeah, we will. We will trust yeah. me. Yeah. You know what, Pat? In high, you know what, Pat? In hindsight, maybe it does help that these are two different videos. <laughs> yeah, because I, <laughs> I think, like, I was kind of worried. Like, I honestly think that this will, like, sustain its. Uh, Ping, I think. Hmm, I think. Nah. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. I think we'll, I think like we'll just save memes for the beginning of. Uh, next session, which will be next Friday. If we didn't talk so long, we probably would have gotten to beef, but... Yeah. <laughs> but how I, I just... Today. I just wanted to get my takes out now, because I feel like it might change after... 
you know, case five. I mean, we'll this ain't how big this case is. It's the hot take here. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know, because, like, I have no idea what the DGS fandom and stuff like that is. So, like, I, I don't know if I'm, if my takes are considered hype <laughs> and spicy or... Uh, probably. <laughs> To be fair, uh, we... he can answer that way more than way more than I can, because I, I have my opinion about. Oh yeah, way more. Yes. Uh, like, I, mean, like, I, I like I have my yeah. opinion on how I feel about uh, so like, so DGS, so that's it. Like I, I met. Because I met more folks that already went through DGS already than people who who are going through DGS. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. even as like, even like, even see people like the Nico B chat, even just going to DGS one, they would say stuff like, "It's like my favorite game as as well." <laughs> Who have only seen one game? Like I, I'll have to see through here because I honestly, at this point, uh, without the knowledge of Case Five, I, I honestly don't know where I would rank it, but I would probably not put DGS in my top three as of right now. We'll see. Hopefully, Case Five will be able to change that, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I don't think the hype around the game is affecting my opinion. Uh, no, I don't think so. You yeah. only it's like three people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a very small thing. I would say, I would say I had more of an effect on that with like Seiko Kichi in V3, where I felt like maybe people are overhyping him a little. But then like when when we were away from the game, that's when I started to enjoy him a lot more. Uh, yeah. At that point, it's one of those kind of situations. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, we have talked on <laughs> long enough at this point, so we're gonna. I need to go to bed for work. We're, we're calling it now, so we'll see you guys so Friday. Sorry. Have a good night. <laughs>